Hey there, everyone. Today, I figured we would start playing the Charnel House Trilogy? The Charnel House Trilogy. Hmm. I know so little about this game, I don't even know how it's pronounced. But it looks like it's kind of along the same vein as Kathy Rain. So, I thought it might be good. Let's give it a, a little look-see. The trilogy refers to these books, obviously, I think. Um, it's three different people in the same kind of location, so I think they're all on a train. I don't know. I did notice though that there is an inhaler over here. Here. Ugh. And it does say inhale and exhale, and I have no idea what this word is. So let's click on inhale. It's a top book. I assume it's first. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news! The blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, Here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test Pilot. Okay. It stopped snowing days ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. So let's go see him then. Interact. Examine. Well, that seems easy enough. Books, games, a couple of CDs. Very me. And an asthma inhaler. For some reason. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. Sophia. My trusty portable radio. These days it gets a lot of use. That is an old radio. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. So we've been introduced to oh, two other characters, Gavin and Sophia. I, oh, I, I'm like, I don't want the phone with the bird, but I guess the bird it's is the phone. phone. <laughs> Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. There are messages on the answering machine. Ah, I guess we should go listen to the messages? Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two. New messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Yay. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> chance to... Uh -huh. Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message number two. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The NIST just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. Sounds like and dad's in the hospital. Message. I that didn't mom. call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. No, you won't. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. There's nothing wrong with talking to yourself. I was walking through Washington Square. Well, oh, I thought this said doctor for a second. A long My trusty portable herself, apparently. I we turn it off. Leave it on. Ugh. I like the ambiance. With air what kind of crazy She's person is like me this? I mean, older, heck, though. doesn't you know everybody if I was drinking coffee or me, felt like reading? Then maybe. But I don't. So no. Everybody uses the TV for ambiance. when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. Kevin. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. 
Is our character here a smoker? Uh. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Get it. You can do it. I believe. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Parcel. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Why Back did... behind the radiator it goes. Why does she say ugh every time she says Gavin? Oh. Probably do an upgrade. They say PC gaming is an expensive hobby. It's not. Unless you're broke. Which I am. It's not expensive when you're playing games like this. Mm, just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Look at the doggo! The doggo. Sam! Memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. That's mean. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. Why would you put him in the microwave? Some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. True that. I've already read it. Twice. Because that's how exciting my life is. Keyboard, tower, no. Power on. Good idea. Five minutes later. Did it take five minutes for that computer to boot up? Five minutes. Oh! I assume this is Gavin. It's a photo of me with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there too. It oh, was Sophia's taken on my friend. birthday a few months ago. There's a green balloon in the background. A photo of Gavin with his face scribbled out. Hey, a, a girl's entitled to the occasional petty, vindictive outburst, okay? Did she actually scribble out, like, the, the actual monitor? <laughs> okay, well, I... Well, let's... Can I use the mouse? Right. Let's do this. What are we doing? Oh, look. Drama, as my favorite reviewer, gives a game a low score. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well. No time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Oh, I'm waiting for a package. Of course. I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it. What did I use here? I think I wrote it down ro somewhere. On the note. When I was drunk. Oh, yeah. You mean this here? Ah, here it is. I think. That you can't even read? Oh. Oh. Can the writer it? walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. What? What kind of cryptic note is this? The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Can I just use it? No. You're gonna make me look up a book. Nah. There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. What? What? Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. What? Let's see. A ten-foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. What is this world where she's got a ladder in the lamp? Let's get out of here. Well, can I... The kitchen. I'm not actually a bad cook, I just usually can't be bothered. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. Um. A surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. This is a nice apartment. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. Can I just move her over? Oh, I can. Because there's another door over here portal to an exciting other world. The bedroom. Or as the landlord calls it, oh, the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom. So does she sleep sure. in the living room? I could use a shower. So, unless there's doors on the other side of this room, she's got a door to the kitchen and a door to the bathroom. Well, that was something. My adorable little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. Gilbert it is. Gilbert! There's something in amongst the fronds. 
I should get it free sometime. Is it a parcel you hadn't opened yet? Ah, got it. Mm -hmm. Parcel I hadn't opened yet. I'm Let's sensing see. a pattern. So you want to give up smoking? A self-help book by I burn it. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. This is kind of Monkey Island-ish. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since... since... well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. What? Do he left on her birthday? Pick the damn thing up, though. Just burn it. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. All right, let's um, let's use this with the books, maybe. Nah. Okay, maybe not. Let's do this then. Um, I can I can't read. These books. I'm assuming that this is the correct book because this book is the name of the game. Nah. Oh, let's just keep. Let's just. Nah. Mm hmm. Nah. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prize? Charnel House. Edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. Mm. Death, The High Cost of Living. Just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. Mm. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. Death, The High Cost of Living. All oh, the oh. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. A beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was yeah, a fuck I was gonna troll. say. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. Bioshock reference. Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Fifty Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles, oh. Volume 2. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. That sounds like the I've book in question. I've never been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. There's the, uh, the inhaler. inhaler. Might as well bin this. Tomorrow. Bin this? What a European nah, term. let's not get sidetracked. Nah. What? I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. I'm just gonna I'm keep saving clicking. it for a special occasion. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. Well, it's probably this one then. Oh, Cassell, you are a strange and troubled man. I wonder what ever happened to you. For your graduation, I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak, Peak 1318. 1318. Oh, that's the password. Augur Peak 1318. Oh. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. I can't wait. Can't wait for the train. Don't know why, but I can't wait. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. By who, Gavin? I don't recognize that signature. And even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? We can go find a guy. Uh, it's raining? I thought it was snowing. Now it's storming. And this is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. What do you mean you don't feel like playing Looking a game? Outside, it seems like the storms hit a little early, New York. 
Rain, thunder, lightning, the works. So batten down those hatches and get ready for a cozy musical night in with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively on BC304 FM. Turn her off. Hmm, it can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Uh, it must be jammed. Kick it! I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. Like your foot! I think I can jimmy it. Unfortunately, Gavin took all the cutlery with him, so I'm having to make do with brittle plastic crap. It won't be any use. The more I think about that, the more it pisses me off. Who takes the fucking forks when they go? Seriously. Can't avoid it. Can't avoid it. Jimmy it open with something? Uh... There's not a whole lot in here. What's What was behind the radiator? I'm not reaching back there again. Okay, good. That eliminates that. If I was drinking coffee, but I... Alright, here we go. Trying to find something to jimmy that open with. What happens if I click on the plant? I should leave the plant alone now. Maybe I've we should no leave. Desire to go out. I do. Let's go. Is there anything in the coat? I don't. No. Let's see. I got a post-it note. Oh, so sure. Far. Yeah, I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. Listen, going to bed early does not make you pathetic, it makes you tired and well-rested in the morning. There's nothing to use in here. Should I use Sam? Can I pry it open with Sam? You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. Boom! This idea is so stupid that it might just work. The stupid ideas always work. Sam on the cabinet. Go get it, Sam. Doggles are good Here for everything. Goes. It fits perfectly. Uh -huh. Oh, oh shit. The tail's just snapped off. No, Sam! Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Yeah, why didn't you just oh. kick it open to begin with? I told you to use your foot. Crap dog model. That's mean. I'm not closing it again after all that. We're in the way. I'm not close. Right. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. No horror's too scary. No, it's scary. Later. Oh. Huh? Oh. Shit. I fell asleep. Oh no. Con eight. Phone's ringing. Get the phone. Get away from the couch. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Awkward. Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. I feel like she should have an English accent. She's that using Rob, European my phrases. My apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. The delivery man signed for it? That seems... <laughs> what now, mm. Rob? Forgotten where I live? No, don't answer it. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's gonna be scary. Hello? Yes? Alex this Davenport. This is Alex Davenport speaking. Okay, now we know. I... Thank you. Huh? I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Uh... Oh... Uh... Oh no. Quick, get the inhaler! <laughs> you don't have asthma! Why c can you not breathe? Hey, 
Alex. Oh, Jesus, how bad is this storm? <laughs> oh, hey, are you all right? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Was it her dad? Oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, I don't It'll remember be all what right. she said. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No. Yeah, seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... Space. No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. Days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call mom tomorrow, too. Mm-hmm. What happened? What did she just do? Oh, that was creepy. Her reflection Outside, is on the left the side. begins to withdraw. Woo! The siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. Hmm. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. What is occurring? I'm gonna grab my bag. I mean, it's raining and cold, but who needs a jacket? Just a jacket. Oh. Oh. No, thank you. You know, just jeans and a t-shirt, that's all I need. Now it's snowing. Who is this? Is this this isn't Rob, is it? Looks it looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. It's a late train. Oh look at all the stuff I have now. Tickets, a purse, a lighter, a cigarette pack, a book. And that looks like it's it. The charnel house burial? I don't remember bringing this. Oh, good. Harold Lang. So, hey. You been waiting long? I, uh... I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. See, everyone else has Tell a, me about a, it. a European I nearly slept English through tonight. Accent. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? Well, how are you not cold? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Auger, Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. Why? It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. I like mm. to laugh. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, 
I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But... You know the funny thing? <laughs> What's that? It feels that way to me, too. This is so weird. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. I'm cold just looking at her. It's going to be a long, boring journey. I'm sure. Fool I'm that I am. I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. I'm sure it'll be All I have completely to pour uneventful. Over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. He's like. I feel like it's. The Titanic is what I'm playing. I guess. I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. After tomorrow? Hey. hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction? Yeah, sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. Well, that works out. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Train's here. She dropped something. Looks like this is us. What did she drop? Um, excuse me. Are you gonna get it? Pick it up, maybe? Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. Oh, boy. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. No, but she drop. What is that? Well, well. What's this then? That's a good question. Who's our cute little doggy? Oh, it's Sam. I know just who'll like this. Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. What? <laughs> what is happening? That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon, and you'll be back home before you know it. There's someone in the bag. Aye, I reckon so. Oh. Oh! I'll just keep this for later. Well, the conductor is clearly someone of... The train disappeared. What is happening? So many... Ominous, spooky things. Oh. Okay. Alright, so that was the first chapter. In Hale. That was super short. Just a little bit creepy. There's Sam. And there's the inhaler. And I'm gonna leave this episode here because it's uh, been about 30 minutes. Which is good enough. So I will do this one. I have no idea how to pronounce that. We'll do the second one. In the next episode and probably exhale in the third episode and i hope you stick around it's just vaguely creepy and vague in general i'm kind of i'm not entirely lost but there's so many mysteries so thank you for watching i hope you guys stick around for the next two chapters and i'll see you then bye <laughs>